tech stocks in the work from home theme have rocketed this year with some producing returns of three and 400%. But is the easy money already made? How much higher can these stocks go and how do you find the best to buy? We're talking tech stocks to buy today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I wanna send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, I've been watching the work from home trend for almost a decade. I started my own home-based business in 2013. And by the end of 2019, nearly one in 10 Americans were working remotely. Then COVID-19 happened and this trend went into overdrive. More than half the workforce was working from home during the height of the pandemic, and economists at Harvard Business School estimate that one in five workers, about 20%, are gonna to continue to work remotely even after things get back to normal. Now that is a huge shift, and to happen so quickly, it's no surprise that work from home stocks are soaring. But that also creates two problems for investors. One is how do you find the best work from home stocks to buy? And two, the prices on some of these have just surged to outrageous levels. Case in point, Zoom Video Communications, ticker ZM, is up over 400% this year alone and trades for nearly 100 times on that price to earnings basis. Any way you look at this stock, there is no way to rationalize that value. 76 times sales, 82 times book value. And yet, the shares were still able to rocket 45% after that most recent earnings release when, when the company reported a 335% increase in sales. Nation, a lot of these stocks kind of remind you of Amazon, right? Your shares of the e-commerce giant have never been cheap. I think last year at 72 times on that PE basis, probably about the lowest I've ever seen it. Their shares have always looked ridiculously expensive and yet it's up 70% this year alone. Work from home is the future and I think these stocks will continue to grow and grow into those valuations, but that still leaves you with trying to find the best of the group. That's what I want to do in this video, show you how to find those best work from home stocks, give you some of those fundamentals to watch, and then reveal the three stocks that I'm watching to buy. I'll be using the stockcard.io platform, a great research tool I just found and has some features that you won't find anywhere else. Besides some of those investing tools that we'll use today, Stockcard makes it easy to analyze a stock because it takes all those financial measures like, like the quick ratio and debt to equity and then puts them into these easy to understand levels for growth potential, operations, and valuation. I'll leave a link to Stockcard in the description below. Make sure you check that out because we're gonna be using that for a lot of the research we do in these videos. We're gonna get right to that list of work from home stocks to buy, but first I wanna get your opinion on this. I love this kind of theme investing, looking at those broader trends like 5G, Internet of Things, or remote work, and then investing in that trend with the best stocks. And so the question is, what do you think are going to be those themes or those trends that are going to define the next 10 years? What are going to be the major groups of stocks that are going to drive those highest returns out there? So let's get the conversation going on this, and I'll put in some videos together for your answers. So scroll down and let me know what you think in the comments below. But now investing in that kind of a theme idea, the problem has always been how to find all the stocks in that trend. There just aren't any stock screeners set up for this type of investing. And it's one of the reasons why I really like this stockcard.io as a research tool. I just click on discover up here in the menu and then on this featured tab where it's going to show me all the stocks within different themes. We see stocks in the COVID-19 testing theme, uh, electric vehicles. Here we've got vaccine theme, and then scrolling down further, you see 75 stocks in that work from home theme. Now, I don't want to make this a stock card review, but each of these squares is going to be a measure of how well the company is doing in four key fundamentals like growth, operations, and valuation. You can scroll through some of these or just click up here to see all in the group. And we can look through each of these in the group. Uh, here's Fastly, ticker FSLY, one of the best picks this year, of 485% since our March recommendation and some solid long-term potential. So Stockcard just makes it easy to get your research started, setting up these lists and then digging deeper into each company. Our first work from home tech stock here, $2.9 billion cloud storage leader, Box Inc, ticker BOX. Box has continued to grow and reinvent itself since 2005 from just a cloud file storage provider into tools for workflow and organizational management. And that's a lot of what I like about Box, that innovation and product offering to become that all-in-one for management and organization of remote workers. The company booked an 11% year-over-year increase in revenue last quarter and an annualized pace of 20% over the last three years. 
the price to sales ratio of 3.75 times actually isn't too bad considering some of the valuations in this theme. And, and analysts have an average price target around $24.75 per share, which would be about a 30% return from here. Now we'll get back to that list of work from home tech stocks, but I want to show you how I'm looking for these, how I'm taking that list and narrowing it down. First, of course, I'm just looking for a connection with that work at home theme, a company benefiting from that shift, whether it's through connectivity, security, or productivity. Most of these are gonna be in that software applications industry within tech stocks. I'm also looking for a competitive advantage through its products. For example, in security, I looked at Zscaler's unique cloud model for security versus that traditional hardware model when recommending it back in October and then again in March around $58 per share. This was a big leap from some of those legacy server-based providers and shares of Zscaler have surged 197% just in the last few months. So it's not enough just to throw a dart at all the names in this theme. You know, that kind of random approach investing is gonna get you some solid returns because of the broader theme. You know, that work from home trend, it's gonna drive growth for everyone in this group. And that's why I like this kind of theme investing. But to get those triple digit returns, you really have to dig deeper and find the best of the best here. Our next tech stock, though, is actually fairly cheap as well. $1.2 billion Avaya Holdings, ticker AVYA. Avaya provides communications and contact center platforms for companies as well as other products and services. So where we saw Box was helping companies connect with their workers, Avaya is going to help companies and their remote workers connect with their customers. Surprisingly, shares of Avaya haven't run as far as others in this group, only up 10% on the year, even though management was able to beat earnings expectations by 40% in the second quarter. Now, this is a company trading at just 4.6 times trailing earnings and in a solid industry. Now, something else I'll usually look at when picking these stocks to buy is called the short interest. Now, this is just the percentage of shares available that are borrowed by short sellers, and it's a really good contrarian indicator. You see here that over 20%, more than a fifth of these shares are sold short, which is extremely high. Analysts have price targets here around $19 per share over the next year, which would be a 35% return on the stock. We've still got one more work from home tech stock to highlight, but I wanna show you some of these fundamentals that I'm watching to pick these stocks. StockCard makes it really easy to find each one of these and we'll look through some of the most important. I'll usually start by looking at some of the operational measures here, like revenue growth in the last quarter and then this three year trend. I'll also look here in profitability and check out the gross profit margin to see how it stacks up against the industry. That gross profit margin is the percentage of revenue left over after paying suppliers. Now this along with the operating profit margin, which is the percentage of the revenue left after paying those operating costs, now these are excellent measures for management's ability to squeeze out those profits. This card for management effectiveness is also useful for ratios like that return on assets and return on equity. Now for these types of growth stocks, I'm not usually looking much at valuations because they're always going to be extremely high, but I will check these analyst price targets to see what other analysts are thinking of the shares. Citrix Systems, ticker CTXS, provides virtualization software including virtual apps and desktops, exactly what remote workers have needed this year. And as you'd expect, the company reported a very strong second quarter, beating earnings expectations by 24% after beating the expectations by 48% in the first quarter. Management also provided higher guidance for the third quarter, and I think this is one that just keeps growing for decades as we shift in that work, remote work model. But besides that solid growth, management has done really well on improving the profitability on this one and posted an 85% gross margin last quarter, well above the industry average. Analysts have an average price target of $164 per share, just 17% higher than the current trade, but I like this one for that long-term investment as well. Click on the video to the right for the next generation of FANG stocks, seven tech stocks that could replace Apple and Amazon as the biggest market winners. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.